If you're a fan of space exploration, you might have heard of NASA's twin study. In 2015, American astronaut Scott Kelly spent nearly a full year on the International Space Station. Back on Earth, scientists compared his health with that of his twin brother Mark, also known as Arizona Senator Mark Kelly. The results of this study were very enlightening for scientists hoping to learn more about the negative effects of microgravity on the body. But what if I told you that the ISS is actually a phenomenal lab space for developing the treatments for some of those health problems, for both astronauts and for those of us on the ground? My name is Hannah, and this is Space for Humans. One of the primary concerns for astronauts on long-duration space missions is loss of muscle mass, as their muscles don't need to work as hard to move as they do when they're subject to Earth's gravitational forces. But muscle loss isn't only a problem for astronauts. It's a major problem for the injured, the elderly, and those suffering from muscular dystrophy. Lack of muscle mass poses a major risk to these populations by lowering their body's defenses against injury. In 2016, rodents were sent to the ISS aboard a SpaceX Dragon capsule, along with several injectable samples of a medication called anti-myostatin antibodies, developed by pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly. Myostatin is a protein in your body associated with muscle loss. Anti-myostatin antibodies work by inhibiting or blocking the effects of this protein. Microgravity increases the speed at which natural muscular deterioration occurs, which is why testing this new medication on the ISS proved very useful to the research team. The researchers didn't need to wait for the rodents to fully age before the muscle loss would occur and the drug could be tested. Ultimately, these tests were proven successful. The mice treated with the antibodies were stronger than the mice not given the drug. The success of this trial is promising for treating muscle loss in both astronauts and those aforementioned vulnerable groups. But testing is not the only useful pharmaceutical research taking place on the ISS. New drugs are also being developed, thanks to a form of microgravity research called protein crystallization. This process involves adding proteins to a solution in which they are drawn together to form a crystalline structure. It provides scientists with valuable insight on protein structure they otherwise couldn't get. Understanding protein structure is essential to the development of drugs to treat several life-threatening diseases, such as Alzheimer's and cancer. On Earth, these crystals can be difficult to grow because gravity will lead to uneven distributions of the proteins in the solution where the crystal forms. In microgravity, this problem doesn't exist, so growing the crystals is much easier. And fun fact, more protein crystallization experiments have been done on the ISS than any other type of experiment. This just goes to show how valuable this research is. And these are just a few examples of useful microgravity drug research. The ISS has been central to osteoporosis treatments, cancer research, and the development of new antibiotics and vaccines. So when some of the ailments Scott Kelly received from his year-long flight are treated, he'll have the work done by him and his own colleagues to thank. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Space for Humans.